whether it's the detection of smell or innovating the muscles responsible for facial expression. The 12 cranial nerves each have a distinct function, which is either sensory or motor in nature. Some even serve both a sensory and motor purpose. So let's find out which nerve does what and how you can easily remember it. So I have listed the 12 cranial nerves in chronological order here on the left. The mnemonic that can help you in remembering their function is the following. Some say marry money, but my brother says big brains matter most. As you can see, the sentence only contains words that start with either S, M or B. So the first letter of each word corresponds to the function of the respective cranial nerve, namely S for sensory, M for motor and B for both sensory and motor. For those amongst you that best learn visually, I want to show you how you can incorporate the 12 cranial nerves and their function in a neat little drawing. So let's move over to the sketchboard. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw a face comprised of numbers 1 to 12. Let's start with number 1 here in the middle. The olfactory nerve represents the nose and thus smell. Then we will add the number 2 twice, just above and to the left and right of the nose. That's the optic nerve and thus it represents the two eyes and its role in vision. The oculomotor nerve is going to represent the eyebrows and it is responsible for moving the eyes. So we draw two number 3s. The trochlear nerve, cranial nerve number 4, is going to go right under the eyes as its function is innervation of the superior oblique muscle of the eye. Then we will draw a big five representing the trigeminal nerve that has three branches innervating the skull. The two sixes here represent the abducens nerve, which is why we draw them on the outside of both eyes as it makes outward gaze possible. Then let's move on to cranial nerve seven, the facial nerve. This one's literally going to make up the face of our drawing. So there are two sevens as the outline of the face. Okay. One of the sevens is going to be mirrored. Next, we draw the ears as two eights, representing the vestibule cochlear nerve and its function in hearing. Before we can include cranial nerves 9 and 10, we will have to draw a tongue sticking out of the mouth. Cranial nerve 9, the glossopharyngeal nerve, and cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve, are connected to taste, swallowing and cough. The accessory nerve, which is cranial nerve 11, is the neck as it innervates the trapezius muscle and deltoids. And at last, number 12, the hypoglossal nerve. We will place this one on the tip of the tongue as it innervates the extrinsic and intrinsic muscles of the tongue. So here you have the finished face comprised of 12 cranial nerves. Let us know what you think of the visual mnemonic. Check out our cranial nerve playlist next and stay tuned for next week's video where we are going to cover mnemonics to help you remember the anatomy of the brachial plexus. So make sure you are subscribed to our channel and to hit the notification bell that lets you know once we publish a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.